Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel, and today I'd like to experiment with a tank that is filled with water, and I'd like to know the mass properties of it, and I'd like to know the combined mass properties of the tank with the water. I'd like to be able to change the water level and um, really see what happens with the CG. So, I start with a sketch of the tank, and I make a sketch of that, and I revolve the sketch. I uh, put some fillets where I need to, and I uh, shell it out. Um, and you can see that it's, it's now shelled out. Then um, I shelled this whole thing out, but this flange is supposed to be thick, so I did a replace face, and I replaced uh, the thin face with a thicker face. I did another sketch because it's got some uh, feet on it, and um, I did a circular pattern for the whole pattern. Um, that's on the top flange. The uh, foot was the standalone extrude, and then I subtracted. And of course, when I subtract, it leaves this inner piece, and then I deleted that inner piece with a, with a delete part. I sketched a little center line, and I did a circular pattern, and then I Boolean united it to everything else. So that was cool. Then I filleted it, and then I did another sketch and this sketch was for um, a handle that is on this thing. Um, I did a sketch on the end of that and I did a sweep. Um, I then subtracted the vessel from the handle and I got these two little solids that I did not want, so I deleted them, as you can see. And then I did a circular pattern and a Boolean and I basically had my vessel. There you go. Uh, then I did a plane to emulate the water line. And the water line starts at um, 8.4 inches up from the bottom. And on that plane, I did a big sketch that looks like that. And I extruded it down like this. And uh, that sketch or that big extrusion represents the water, the water that's in the tank. So then I, I removed this tank from this big water box, if you will. And then I did a delete part. I just deleted all this outside stuff. It's like that. And so I had the water. So as you can see, the water is inside the tank. Great. Uh, once I did that, then I needed to know what the uh, mass properties were. So the first thing I did is I went to the vessel and I said, uh, edit material. And then I selected the uh, proper material out of the a library, um, and this is uh, stainless steel, A2 stainless steel. Uh, but I didn't have the density of water, so I clicked on the liquid and I said edit material, and I created a custom material, liquid water, and that's 0 0.036 pounds per inch cubed. So um, that was easy to do. You just go to the edit material command, uh, and then I had the label, and I put a material call out on that of uh, paper, and I said 0 0.01 pounds per inch cubed, but I'm not going to take in that into account anyway. Okay, great. Then I went to the display mass properties box right here, and I simply clicked on the vessel. And as you can see, the vessel weighs 35 pounds, and the little CG is right there, 35 pounds. And um, the volume in the surface area, I don't really care too much about. But then in order to get the combined material properties of the vessel and the liquid, all I do is click on the liquid here, and as you can see, the whole thing goes up to 66 pounds. There's the uh, centroid. And so there you have it, the way of creating your model with the liquid inside, assigning the right uh, density to the liquid, making sure the material of the outer part is also the correct answer or the correct number. And uh, finally, just displaying the material or the mass properties here and selecting the uh, parts that you want the mass of, if you select them in concert with each other, it gives you a combined, uh, a combined mass. Um, and there you have it, a very, very powerful tool, very easy to use. So thank you very much. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. Please like and subscribe. Tell a thousand of your closest friends. Thanks again. This is Steve Samuel.